What is going on guys? My name is Patrick, AKA Chief Pat, and today bringing you guys a brand new episode of my Clash Mailbag series. So again, you guys can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram to ask your questions. I'll throw a link in the description below to all of those, or you can just drop a comment in the YouTube comment section and make sure to drop a like on your favorite questions just so they're a little bit easier for me to see. And again, try to be as original as possible. I get asked what's my favorite troop at least like 20 times an episode. So the more original your question is, definitely the better chance you have of it being answered. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go right into the questions. And question number one from Jack Riley is actually one of my favorite questions I've gotten in a while. And he asked, if you could reintroduce any deleted feature from the game, what would it be, for example, selling traps? So I've been playing since 2012. I've seen a lot of features removed, whether it's the sell button, whether it is the waterfall that used to be on the side of your base. Um, they removed some things here and there from the game. And, and the one that's definitely the most puzzling to me, and I still don't have like a clear cut answer on why it was deleted, is when they introduced the fact that you could upgrade your walls using Elixir. Everyone was super happy because they thought at Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 8, it would fix the problem where you had nothing to do with your Elixir. Um, and it, the walls, you used to be able to upgrade level eight walls using Elixir for 500,000 500, elixir. So this solved the problem at Town Hall 8 where you had nothing to spend your elixir on because the elixir upgrades went so fast at Town Hall 8, there was sort of just this dead period where you had nothing to do with your elixir. For some reason, I think like a couple of weeks or maybe a month max later, they removed that feature from the game so once again, at Town Hall 8, you had nothing to spend your elixir on. And then, of course, at Town Hall 7, still the same problem where you have all this elixir and nothing to really spend with it. So I don't know why they removed that from the game. It was super nice at Town Hall 8 to have that elixir to spend on your walls rather than just sitting there using doing nothing. Um, so I never really got a clear-cut answer on that, and it really just didn't make sense to me. I, I don't know why, but that was one of the most frustrating features that I've seen removed. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see on my Town Hall 8 account that I just got to Town Hall 8 on my Let's Play series. You guys are going to see how quickly my gold upgrades get completed, or my Elixir upgrades get completed, and I'm just going to have a full tank of Elixir and nothing, and nothing to do with it. Uh, but yeah, pretty frustrating. Don't know why that happened. One of the most questionable things they, they removed from the game for sure. All right, so question number two, which was actually more of an idea from Justin on Facebook. He said, what if gold that you use to skip bases when searching goes into a hypothetical pot, and then when you attack that base, if you win, you get that gold back, but if you lose, instead of the gold spent skipping just disappearing, it's given back to the player who you lost to. So let me give you guys an example. Let's say there's 10 people that decide to skip your base at 1,000 gold per skip. It would it would go into like a, a 10,000 gold pot uh, when people attacked your base. And let's say someone finally decided to attack you. If they win, they got that 10,000 gold bonus. And then if they lost, they lose the... The, the 10,000 gold that was spent searching would, if they lost, would actually go to the defender. So I think this would be a pretty sweet idea. I don't really like the fact, first of all, I think some of the, the prices for searching are a little bit high when it comes to like Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10 farming. Uh, I know on my Town Hall 9 account, it's like, I think a thousand gold to skip. And if you skip like 50 bases, that's 50,000 gold down the drain, which is a lot. So I like the fact that it would actually go somewhere towards a pot if you're skipping the base um, and build up a big bounty. And it, it would make more bases attackable. Let's say if someone only had someone only had 300,000 resources available but then maybe 100 people skip the base then boom 100,000 bonus 400,000 total and people might be more inclined to attack the base so I actually really like that idea the reason that I brought this into this video I wanted to hear what you guys had to think about it if you think this is cool drop a comment in the comment section below or if you think this is flawed for some reason I couldn't think of a way it could be exploited but if you guys think of something let me know with the comment in the comment section below but pretty cool idea uh, and I thought that one was pretty sweet so next question from Muhammad on Facebook, he asked, what do you think of a clan war tournament? So if you guys saw that live stream that I did at Supercell HQ, I uploaded the full live stream to my channel, but it was a really, really cool test of a clan war tournament, quote unquote. It was really just a, a, a two hour clan war that we did, but it was actually a test like to see what it looked like and if that format would work in like a clan war tournament. So again, it was, it was a two hour clan war period. Um, the rules were that Troops cost nothing, so you wouldn't have to spend anything if you were in some sort of tournament. Uh, the troops cost nothing. The train time was reduced significantly. It was pretty much just a big test. I definitely recommend that you guys at least check out the highlights for the video. Um, but it worked out really well, and it was definitely like a grounds for expanding it into some sort of clan war tournament. I know for a fact that a clan war tournament is something that like the development team over in Clash of Clans, I've seen them get excited about it. Um, who knows if they're working on it or doing something with it, but I think like these 
live streams that we've been doing. First of all, the Finish Clash live stream, and then doing this second live stream was, was a pretty good test um, for them to see what worked, what didn't work, and maybe it's something that they're crawling towards towards the future. Because I've seen people get really, really excited, and, and Supercell always goes crazy when we do these live stream events. Um, and I think they would really like something like a Clan War tournament in the game sometime soon. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. I literally know nothing about any sort of timeline for a Clan War tournament, but for me, I think it is amazing. It was so much fun to participate in. It would be so amazing to do live streams of. Um, so I am 110% behind the Clan War tournament. I think that's one of probably my, that's probably my, one of my top two most wanted features right now. That and of course, new single player maps, which yeah, haven't seen any of those just yet. Anyways, question number four from Eric. He asked, do you think or know if there will be any new Dark Elixir troops anytime soon as the Dark Barracks have several openings? Um, I don't know anything. I haven't asked anything. The My guess of when we'll see new uh, new dark troops would be at the next town hall level at town hall 11. Um, I'm guessing we're going to have a town hall 11 sometime this year. I guessed since the beginning that it would be at the end of summer. Um, probably. I think town hall 10 came out almost two years ago to the day. Actually, it came out sometime in May in 2013. So I think the time is sometime pretty soon. Um, but we'll see what happens. And when the new Town Hall comes out, they're obviously going to have to give some stuff to the players to make us actually want to upgrade to Town Hall 11. So I'm sure they'll make some sort of new sweet troop. I'm sure they'll have something special for Town Hall 11 players, maybe a new defense, maybe some sort of new like utility building, maybe like a new spell factory, a new uh, laboratory, something like that. So who knows? I'm sure Town Hall 11 is going to have all these crazy new things, including a new troop to actually make people want to upgrade to Town Hall 11. Because if you don't make it cool and like actually fun to upgrade towards, um, then people aren't going to upgrade their town halls because they don't want to get hit with that loot bonus so that's my guess i'm guessing when town hall 11 comes out but who knows when that actually would go down all right so final question from jimmy he asked me on youtube will there be an update where we can move our entire base and the edit option it's painfully annoying when you're building a base and it's reached the edge already so it would be helpful uh, to just simply move the base while editing jimmy i have been so like I've thought about this so many times. I've done base designs where I'm, I'm making my base design, making my base design, and then I realized I accidentally shifted my base slightly to the bottom left. And if I was able to pick up my entire base at once and just move it slightly to the to the top right, then my base design would be fine. But since it was slightly off center, I have to spend another 30 minutes redesigning my Town Hall 10 base. And I've always wanted to ask Supercell about this, but I, I just get mad and forget about it. So this is an awesome future suggestion. I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, send a message to someone uh, that I know from Supercell and see what they think about this. And uh, I'll see maybe if it's something that they've thought about before. But this would be amazing. This is something that makes me so mad. I'm sure plenty of you guys watching this video have had that pain of redesigning your base, finding out that it doesn't fit by like two blocks and having to move your entire base over again and wasting like an hour of your life. So great suggestion. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this mailbag video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below or hit me up on the social media. Like I said, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of my links are in the description below. Definitely follow me on Twitter. That's where I'm the most funny and I post most of my updates. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. That is it for this mailbag. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, but until then, peace out and have a nice day.